Video update, haven't made a video in a while. My laptop broke about two months ago and there was nothing I could do to fix it. Uh, so that sucked. I got a new battery, tried to replace it, didn't work. So it completely died. And then I switched jobs uh, during the day. So uh, I had a lot of things going on, so I haven't made a video in a while. I'm making a couple shorts here and there. Uh, kind of got sidetracked with some stuff, making other uh, videos with other topics. But I'm gonna get back into making fitness videos. I'm gonna start making more exercise videos as well. Now that I'm no longer instructing throughout the day, I have more time to pursue making content uh, here. I'm gonna start doing more workout videos and uh, I can continue to work on my art throughout the day. Uh, I'm not gonna make heavy duty videos anymore. Um, people really seem to want to attack you if you don't look like a drug infused uh, steroid abuser uh, who does bodybuilding. And I tried heavy duty uh, from Mike Menser and I got strong of course because you know naturally you're gonna increase your load uh, as you train and that was that was the point to go you know 90% every set until failure and that only works if you're a drug abusing steroid using bodybuilder okay for, for a natural guy like me that didn't work at all uh, I had no gains just strength which which is which is a form of gain itself you know there's something there that wasn't there before, but I can get stronger doing other things. So I'm back on my uh, powerlifting cycle where I do, um, you know, 10, 10 sets of four. Right now I'm doing uh, eight sets of two and I'm just going up in weight. It's really simple, straightforward. That's how I gained a lot of strength uh, a year and a half ago. So I'm going to do that again. And then after 12 weeks, I'm going to switch back to my bodybuilding consolidation program, which was high volume, which worked exceptionally well for me. Uh, I cut down again. I was at 190. Uh, I went back up. I stopped fasting while I was doing heavy duty. It didn't work. I got fat. So now I'm back down to 184. So that's good too. Um, I'm still not fasting, but I am doing carnivore. Carnivore, I got to say, carnivore diet and uh, animal base, like uh, more of like what Paul Saladino suggests, where you still eat honey, fruit, uh, fermented fruit, avocados, stuff like that. That diet is killer, and it has changed the game for me. I have no inflammation. I've lost gray hair in my beard. My skin looks better. I sleep like a baby. Uh, I have one and a half meals a day. I don't need to eat anymore. I'm losing body fat, not weight, body fat. I'm gaining mass. Uh, I'm only consuming about 138, 160 grams of protein every couple days. Uh, it really depends on how many eggs I choose to eat. I quit using supplements. I don't use uh, pre-workout anymore. My blood pressure has actually dropped. Let's see. It was really high last November. Um, too much caffeine. I smoked weed. Uh, too much sugar. Terrible. So it was uh, at its peak. It was 160 over 90. That's stroke territory. Today, I did my blood pressure and it was 114 over 76. And uh, my pulse is about 65, uh, 50, 58, 65, right around there, depending on you know what I'm doing. My walking heart rate is about 65 too. Uh, and that's all great news, and that's all thanks to Carnivore. Uh, Dr. Chaffee, Dr. Barry, Dr. Saladino, um, Dr. Boz, she's, she's pretty new, but I, I like her. Uh, all these things seem to be culminating and pointing in this direction for uh, dietary guidelines and society. Uh, your nutritionist, your dietitian, a cute girl that is making diet programs and wants you to get fiber and eat all these fucking vegetables. They don't know shit, okay? That's, that's garbage. And the uh, FDA, the head of uh, health for the United States, they're all fat asses, retards. One of them thinks he's a woman. Just trash. So don't take advice from these people. Uh, my doctor, seven months ago, when I had really high blood pressure, and I was actually tipping the scales at about 190 right then as well, anytime I quit fasting, I would gain weight back, okay? So I, I knew it was a problem with my insulin and my body's ability to process glucose. And bodybuilders tell you that you need to carb up, okay? That does not work for a natural person that has insulin resistance, which is, I, I had that really bad, okay? Um, I was probably 
way more pre-diabetic than I ever thought. Uh, that is not good, okay? You don't need to carb load. You don't need to have rice and rice cakes and fruit and all these carbs all the time. Sweet potatoes, vegetables, broccoli, chicken, steak, rice. That did not work, okay? It, and any time as a trainer, for 10 years I was a personal trainer, and I got people doing that diet, they all gained weight, okay? That only works for a bodybuilder. It only works for a bodybuilder. So please, if you are not a bodybuilder, do not eat like a bodybuilder. My, one of my colleagues actually, and if she watches this video, I hope you actually listen to me, but your coach having you eat six meals a day when you're insulin resistant, hyperglycemic, and already have a past of being overweight, your coach is failing you by telling you to eat six small meals a day. You can't boost your metabolism and you won't regulate your blood glucose like you think. That's total bullshit. The only way to lose weight is to be in a deficit, to move more, and to eat no sugar. That means get rid of the carbs, stop eating sugar, stop drinking sugar, no vegetables, no bread, no rice, no donuts, no cookies, no cereal, stop eating tortillas, tamales, beans, like just throw that shit away, guys. It's such, it's such crap uh, what they tell people to eat. And, um, Guys, I've never had results like I have had on carnivore. I had swollen ankles, which is not good, okay? And it was getting kind of scary, but that was a sign of hyperglycemia, insulin resistance, high blood pressure, pre-diabetic, okay? Now, granted, I damaged both, both ankles over the past 10 years, sprained both of them at different times. I have a varicosity on my right leg, uh, which is a combination of bodybuilding improperly, too much weight in the calf press, um, squatting too much, too much leg press, but smoking weed, okay, vaping, constricts the blood vessels. Drinking coffee and caffeine at pre-workout four or five times a day constricts the blood vessels, guys. And then you're taking a pre-workout, which is caffeine, vasoconstrictor, and a nitric oxide booster, uh, arginine, vasodilator, and my body just had no idea what I wanted anymore. So I, I had to really deal with that. Uh, I saw a holistic doctor. She told me that the varicose vein is my body's way of fixing it. So getting it removed probably would only be an aesthetic change, and I'm okay with having it there uh, as a reminder of my mistakes. And um, it doesn't look the best, no, but I'm not a bodybuilder and I'm not a physique, men's physique, whatever. I don't go on stage in my underwear and wear board shorts to get a trophy. Okay, I don't need to do that. I don't need to get validated like that. Stupid anyway. It's a fucking beauty pageant. So anyway, that's why it's there. I dealt with it. Going carnivore has changed the game. It has changed my legs. There's no more inflammation at all. No swelling. Uh, if I check my fasting glucose levels, they'd probably be in the tank because right now I'm eating about 20 to 40 grams of carbohydrates a day. The only way I get carbohydrates is in apples, fruit, seedless fruit, and honey, raw honey or honeycomb. That's it. I don't eat bread. I don't eat rice. I don't eat pasta, all that stuff. Although I'm not a religious dogmatic about it. Last Saturday, it was Father's Day. I had a personal pizza, okay? I had a piece of chocolate pie, so I'm not a total asshole about it. You know, I'm gonna, you better do this. It's not, that's not how it works. I'm still human. I still want to have chocolate cake once in a while. Uh, I did have alcohol. I had a tall blue moon on Saturday night. Man, my body rejected that so bad. My ankles swelled up. It was terrible. I could tell right away. I knew right away what it was. And guys, that alcohol, after being sober for six, seven months, which is, I'm about seven months, 29 days, no drinking, no smoking weed, by the way, uh, it, it red flags all over the place. So guys, drop the caffeine, drop the pre-workouts, okay? Drop the caffeinated pills, the fat burners. Don't smoke weed. Don't smoke cigarettes. Stop doing drugs. Stop drinking alcohol. Don't eat processed carbs and sugary drinks. Don't eat shit out of a vending machine. Stop eating like you've been doing for the past 20 years. If you're fat, you're sick, you're tired, you're swollen, your blood pressure's through the roof, you have a big gut, 
Okay? You got to get out of this mentality. Reject modernity. Embrace tradition. Our ancestors ate meat, fruit, maybe vegetables, maybe. People didn't have time to cultivate vegetables. They had grains, fruit, and meat. Fish. That's it. You watch The Chosen, story about Jesus. My mom told me there was one scene where for dinner, Jesus had an apple with his, uh, his disciples. I'm not, I haven't watched the show, but one apple. And I already made a video about telling, telling you guys about how Americans are chronically overnourished. You eat way too much food. Way too much. Uh, like a lot, okay? Like enough food for two to three people. So right now I'm eating about 16, 1700 calories a day. I eat twice. Today actually has been the best fasting day I've had in a while. I get super hungry after my new job because I walk about three miles uh, in men manufacturing. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, I'm not going to make any more political or, you know, videos about why I don't support things. That was like kicking a hornet's nest, and I don't care about that. I'm just going to get back to fitness, stoicism, manhood, diet, making workout videos. Even though people really don't watch my videos, I don't care. I'm not here for subscribers. This is an outlet for me and here to share uh, what I know. And maybe somebody's going to get something out of this, and it's going to help you out. Okay? So, hey, God bless you. Uh, reject modernity. Embrace tradition. Masculinity isn't toxic, and I'll see you guys on the next one.